Now, inside the main City Punch folder for DaVinci, you will first see your video tutorials folder. So inside there are going to be all the video tutorials. There you will see a Vimeo and YouTube channel link. And the videos are going to contain everything from macro plugins installation, LUTs installation, and how to use the different macro plugins inside DaVinci. So definitely check those out. Then we have the macros, transitions, and effects folder. We're going to have our edit folder. And inside there are our effects and transitions folder, where we have transition punch for transitions and our disruption and filmmaker VFX suite. Moving out, we have our cine packs folder, which are going to contain all our 4K, 6K, 8K elements. First, going into the cine packs folder, we are going to get access to our CinePax magazine extension. And as I scroll through here, you can see you have a whole bunch of different CinePax from flares, dust, a bunch of different 4K, 6K, 8K elements. Now here's our new one, Prism. So I'm gonna go inside here for a second. So you can go through the pages, check out individual elements, play it, and if you want to download it, you can then hit the download button. You have a whole variety of different resolutions. And up top on the page is the entire package. So whether you're doing broadcast, 4K streaming, or even cinema, this is going to be your best option versus the reference files, which are inside the main folder. Now going back out, we're now going to go into our CinePunch project folder. And there we're going to have our CinePunch DaVinci project file and then we're going to have our media files and inside the media files contain our cine packs and once again we have all the cine pack elements and these are going to be lower compressed versions of each element and if we open up the DaVinci project file and we can go into our cine packs reference files I'm just going to go to prism for a second you're going to see you're going to have all the elements contained inside the project. Now you can certainly use these, but I personally do recommend that you download the higher compressed versions of these cine packs. Now inside this project folder are going to contain all other elements, the sound packs as well. So if I go down into the sound packs, here's sound punch, and all your sound files will be here. So you can use this project, import it into other projects that you're working on and all your elements and packs will be contained inside there.